303 the money. Home in 302. Little single wouldn't hurt you, sir. 302 and done. Done. At 302, TFI. EU Hamilton of Sales was conducted on uh, Wednesday. Uh, uh, Lady joins me from uh, Southern Grampians Livestock. Uh, Dylan, um, uh, a good yarding of cattle here today and a um, uh, very broad based uh, inquiry. Uh, were you happy with the results? Generally, yeah, all agents in Hamilton cover the work. The market was about where we expected it to be, being from 280 to 320, with the couple of feature lines going to breeders at uh, a little bit of higher rate. Now, one of the things that we saw yesterday in the market was that there was um, see any premium for either for EU cattle today, although a lot of the cattle stayed in the system. Yeah, that's right. We didn't see that 20 cent premium like we did in the steers yesterday or the week before. Uh, but looking back through the books, quite a lot of you right, went, went to that EU job and just, uh, obviously one of them for breeders themselves and everyone had their price, I suppose. Yeah, interstate operators again form the base of the market. A lot of cattle have been trucked north, you know, probably uh, two thirds of the market. You'd be very welcome, you know, under the circumstances of the season, you'd be very welcome with that competition. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, glad we didn't have to put put them down here, place them down here, because I think most of the sales we only had one or two vendors keep them locally. Whether it was today for future breeders or just in general to fatten a few, we're certainly tough down here. So that competition from up there certainly helped, which we haven't sort of had in the last couple of years. Yeah. One thing about the market where it was poised and it'll probably average about three fifteen, three ten, somewhere around that mark, is that there would be eighty to hundred dollar cash there on a lot of those cattle to get them where they are. That sort of firms form a good base for the market going forward. Isn't it? So, uh, how do you deny that? It's a terrific price that no one can deny. You know, it's to get three dollars for three dollars plus. Anything with a three in front of the heifers that aren't your top rated heifers is amazing. And then to get those other ones, it's good. And anyone that's got sales coming up can't that can't be upset. I would have thought. And again, under the circumstances of the season, the majority of vendors would be extremely happy to see the turn the back of their cattle. They don't have to feed them or water them out. Absolutely, absolutely. Water's uh, probably one of the bigger issues coming when everyone can buy feed in or buy water in. But uh, generally, we had a not a bad season for hay, which is still somewhere out locally. But uh, water was an issue, that, so a lot of clients quite happy to get rid of more than they normally would this year. And to average $3.10 for their amounts, you know, $900 for the company. Well, that's uh, that's the story of today. Tomorrow, uh, Landmark and Elders will um, will conduct their uh, heifer sale, and that will conclude the Hamilton series. Of course, there's sales at Caston and at Mornington on Friday, so uh, Thursday and Friday. So uh, stay tuned. Stock and Land will keep you up to date. I don't. Thanks, Norman.